This may look like New Jersey, but it's actually South Derbyshire. And I'm here at this American diner for a flipping good time. As today, I'll be in the kitchen whipping up an iconic stateside brunch of pancakes and bacon using these two differently priced non-stick pans. My premium option is from Tefal, their Jamie Oliver Cook's Classics pan. This 28cm diameter version, costing £68, is made of durable stainless steel, weighs 1.9 kilograms, and has a built-in temperature sensor. It even has a non-stick surface that's infused with titanium. My budget pan is the Smart Start Gourmet from Tower. At £16.49, it's less than a quarter of the price of the Tefal. Like its premium rival, it measures 28 centimetres and is dishwasher safe. But being aluminium, it's a kilogram lighter. It also has a temperature sensor built into the non-stick surface, which changes colour to a darker red when the pan reaches optimum temperature. Helping me test them is professional pancake chef Malcolm Sawyers. Malcolm, great to meet you. Hi, John, lovely to meet you. Malcolm set up his business five years ago and has served over a million American-style pancakes since then, so he knows exactly what makes a good pan. I like a pan that distributes heat evenly. I also look for a solid construction, something that's going to last me a long time. And then finally, nice grip, so that if I want to get creative and flip some pancakes, I can do that as well. This is the premium tea fowl. What do you think on first impressions? I do like the look of this one. Stainless steel is fantastic, so that's a positive, definitely. I love the rubber grip underneath the handlebar. I like the design, and it does have a premium feel. Well, let's move on now to the budget tower. This one is made out of aluminium. OK. Much lighter. Much lighter. Something that I could definitely manoeuvre. I'm impressed. But this one just doesn't feel quite as premium on first impression. Right, let's get testing. Let's do it. <laughs> For our first test, we want to see how evenly these pans distribute heat across their cooking surface. And Chef Malcolm has a clever way to find out. A little trick that we use in the trade is we add some flour to the pans. Normal, regular, plain flour. Plain flour, indeed, yeah. I'm looking for the flour to be consistently brown across the frying pan. We don't want any patchy areas. Both pans work on gas or induction hobs. And first to feel the heat is our premium tea fowl. So this is really impressive. The flour is cooking quite evenly. There aren't many patches at all, so I'm very happy with this. But how will the budget tower compare? It seems to be cooking the flour more in the centre and it's not cooking as well on the sides of the frying pan. The tower just hasn't distributed the heat as evenly. So the premium Tefal's stainless steel base proves to offer better heat distribution. But will that actually make any difference when cooking food? We're going to be making some of my famous American pancakes, bacon and maple syrup. Oh, excellent. With a willing sous chef on hand... There we are. Good. I'm ready. Malcolm gets the premium tea fowl warmed to a medium heat and filled with batter. We have four of these pancakes in the pan. Immediately, Malcolm is impressed by the reassuringly chunky silicon-lined handle. I love the grip underneath. It gives it that real professional feel. And we notice a real positive of the tea fowl's hefty 1.9 kilograms. The weight's not a disadvantage, is it? No, it isn't. Let's it's keep it planted on the, yeah, on the hob. exactly. And despite my awful attempts at flipping... I've ruined it. I've collided with the other pancake. All four pancakes have benefited from the premium pan's even heat distribution. I'm impressed. Fluffy, even, nice board around the edge. Oh, yes. Yep. Next, we crank up the heat on the premium tea fowl to cook some bacon, a notoriously sticky ingredient. Not only a component of this American pancake recipe, but also the great British fry up for breakfast. The tea fowl has a red hourglass shaped sensor that disappears when the pan reaches an ideal frying temperature. To be honest, I haven't found it very useful. It doesn't tell you exactly what that temperature is, so. I prefer personally to use the, the controls. Yeah. But the T-Fowl's non-stick surface, which is enriched with titanium to make it scratch resistant to metal utensils, is performing well. The bacon is not stuck to the pan at all. Yeah, it's crispy but moist. Once again, this nice thick premium base shows its value, so very happy overall. Premium bacon with the premium pancakes. Yep. Now it's the budget tower's turn to whip up some brunch. I'm interested to see how this one compares. Oh, yeah, me too. We start with four identical dollops of batter. Very careful control of quantities. Yep. And despite being half the weight of its premium rival, the tower feels stable as we cook and flip our pancakes. 
Ah, mm. there we are. Well done. But, much like we saw in our flower test, the cheaper aluminium base struggles to deliver an even heat. You can tell that some of them are cooked better than the others. It's again that we're in that position where most of the heat is in the centre. I don't think we've got as much consistency as we had with the with premium the pan, no. Mm. Keen to see how the tower cooks bacon, we add fresh oil and turn up the heat. But its temperature sensor proves as ineffective as the tea fowls. It's supposed to go dark red, but it's barely visible. Yep. I really can't see how it's of any use. However, Malcolm is impressed by the budget pan's scratch-resistant non-stick base. So it's sizzling nicely. It's also good that the bacon isn't sticking. Nice and easy for us to flip. Yep. Unfortunately, though, the lack of a rubber grip is a bit of an oversight. I think it works really well on the t file version. It's a noticeable difference. And as Malcolm plates up, we spot some clear differences in the food too. Well, I think that the t file did a better job. Yeah. It just looks a bit more appetising. The budget tower pan was OK, but you don't get the same consistency. Aesthetically, yeah. the... Uh... Tifal is better. Yeah. But before we get to taste to test the food, our non-stick pans are in desperate need of a clean. And while the dirt quickly disappears from the premium Tifal, it's always come off easily, I yeah, think. It'll come off pretty easily. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. The budget tower doesn't scrub up as well. I can still see where things have been. Even after one use, the yes. differences are quite clear. Tifal is already lasting longer. Already, already. Yes, gosh. So, nicer to use and easier to clean. But does the Tefal also produce better tasting grub? We tuck into the premium pancakes first. Mmm, that's really nice. Mm. It's got a lovely consistency. It seems very evenly cooked as well. I think so. The mm. bacon is really well done also. So as a pancake professional, you're happy with this? I'm really happy with that. Mm. The Tefal has really done well there. Time to see if the Budget Towers food pleases our taste buds too. It's almost more sponge-like and not so much flavour. I mean, we did notice that whilst we were cooking them, the cook wasn't quite as even. No. And I think that's coming out in the taste. I actually quite like the bacon. Yeah. I'm not sure there's much difference in the bacon, actually. Yeah, there is a clear difference with the pancakes, I think. Yeah, there is. So, the t fowl's food impresses most, as did its usability and ease of cleaning. But at £68, is this premium pan worth over four times the price of the budget £16 tower? I think if you're going to use it frequently, you are justified if you want to spend that extra bit of money. So, on that basis, I think it probably does represent better value for money. Mm, I agree with you.